Hello guys, what's up? How you doing? This is Kunal and today we are going to see okay, let me show you what we are going to make today. So that's my channel. Uh, we are not going to see that. Okay, this. Today we are going to see slider. How to make slider? This awesome slider. And uh, I'm not even going to write any code for this because these sliders are already available on the on website, Google. All we have to do is download them and copy paste into our website. And we have to customize it according to us. So today I'm going to tell you how to read uh, the slider and how if you want to uh, because we always get only one slider, we don't get two. So if uh, we need, uh, we have to be very careful while uh, reading the code and how we can customize it and we can add multiple slider in our website so first of all this is how this is how it's gonna be exactly look because i haven't made anything change uh, in the slider so this is how we are going to and it's also responsive by the way so let me show you see see it's responsive awesome so first of all, what I'm gonna tell you is that first let's see, uh, talk about the website which will provide us this awesome sliders. Because uh, see, why I'm telling you this? Because if you are working as a freelancer or if uh, even if you are working in any industry, people always want you to do the work uh, too fast. You have to complete your project within a, your time period, and you can't uh, always create your own. Uh, slider something like that so chesar is the site where we can uh, where we are going to find amazing awesome sliders so just let's yeah this is our website guys not my website some talented guy already built it so here you can see the slider which i use this one so they have already provided us lots of slider with lots of effects so let's uh, you can uh, look into this uh, website into detail but let's see how we gonna add this slider to our website so let's click on this slider the same one so here we have a preview and they have okay to add this slider we have to export the code so click on it download the standard format yeah Okay, here it is. Alrighty. Okay, here it is. Uh, let me copy, just copy paste into my desktop. Alright. Oh, let's extract this one. Yeah. Okay, so. I have extract, uh, extracted the slider into my desktop. Uh, the folder name is image slider, and within this folder, we got a standard HTML uh, HTML file with the name standard. This one, which is the main OV file, uh, we have JS folder within which we have a JS slider JS file, and here's few images for the slider. This is for the loader. Okay, so let's just uh, open it in. Okay, so we have our slider ready and see all I have to do is download it so now we have only this one so most of the time uh, it's likely let's uh, open that file into our uh, editor code uh, directly let's okay let's open it in notepad editor uh, don't freak out I'm using a uh, not old school I use PHP Storm, but just for sake now, we are going to use uh, Notepad plus plus. Okay, so this is our code. They have already provided. We have to include this code into our website. So that's it. So here they have written. So the uh, first they have included the this file, and after that they have written a function. And within me, this is our trans. Uh, this code right here is our transactional code. The slides we are sliding after the time there's a bunch of stuff we don't need to get into that and this is the stuff for uh what just uh, for options sliding time period auto play uh the auto play and uh, this one is the important one 
yeah where JSR one slider equals new here is a new variable within the JSR and here is our new element so let's see our HTML code yeah that's our uh, CSS file inline CSS sorry uh, internal CSS and here so within this div div with an ID JSR one include our slider so right now they have provided these are the images these are the div within which we have our images so if uh, now let's see i want one more slide i want to include one more slider into the, the website so how about let's just copy this slider uh div okay and paste it copy paste do that all right okay so let's write here coming uh, slider 2 okay we need a little bit of space all right so i just copy paste the code uh, second time so basically i should see two sliders same images same data everything is the same calling the same so uh, just let's uh, hit refresh our page and let's see what we get now we didn't get uh, the second slider we can see only the one slider was wrong so the fact is we have one uh, new element with jsr1 id where it is this one yeah the slider 2 also has jsr1 id the slider uh, the initial slider which is created by them is also at the JSR1 slider image and then in the end we are calling um, at the bottom we are calling this function JSR1 slider in it and that function is right up here within our script yeah we are calling this function and we are so you can see here the problem is we are calling uh, we have two codes but we are calling one function only once even if I copy paste this code, uh, copy paste this uh, script once more, one more time, it won't run. We, we won't see uh, our second slider. So what we need to do is, we have to uh, change this ID. Let's say it's just a two, and then we have to copy paste this function. Yeah, right. Yeah, let's copy and best okay for slider 2 let's write and come in alrighty let's go ahead okay and uh, yeah as I told you in the starting here the JSR1 slider this one we made so here we have passed our due so this is uh, this is the main function which include uh, our div within which we want our slider to be represent we want this all the functions of transactional sliding transactional autoplay to be played so i uh, just uh, change this id jsr2 and everything is same and what we need to do is change this function we cannot uh, rewrite the same function with the same function name so that's it so now we have got uh, we have two function first function jsr1 slider in it which holds our jsr1 div uh, slider uh, data uh, which is going to show up in slider one and we have the second function with jsr2 slider in it which is going to show us slider two within a div with an id jsr2 so now there is one more last step to do we have to call that function yeah if we don't call that function you know we are still not going to see uh, see our second slider so we need to call it so what we did is yeah so now we have called uh, both the functions and let me check one more time did i change the function name okay yeah now let's hit the refresh and you'll see we have two sliders okay so that's what really quick
I didn't even write any code. All I did is a copy paste. Yeah, so that's really easy. So we have to understand the code, how this script is run. And if you want to include awesome sliders, you can go to the JSA website and see that. And that's really amazing. So thank you guys for watching my video. I'm gonna posting this really cool stuff because I am a freelancer also. I do uh, I work at a, a company and also an part time freelancer. So I have to be fast. So I'll be posting this uh, videos how you can increase your speed uh, in web development and uh, also few researches. I am right now working on a Google API. That's really cool. So if uh, and this is my channel guys, Kudalfule. Uh, search Kunal Fule and you will get it all. It's F U L E by the way, not P H U L E. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching my video.